I'd like to make two quick comments. First, uh, these ethical guidelines are a baseline for your practice of law. Your career as a practicing attorney in the state of Idaho will not be measured by just the baseline of these ethical uh, canons. Your, the measure of your professional career will be how you exceed these baselines with your intellect and your diligence and the application of those as only the bottom, not the top. And secondly, it's vitally important. Judge Weatherall today talked about a moral compass. And as all of us know, if you start off on a trip with a compass and you start off just one degree off your path, in two or three years, 10 years, 20 years, you are way out there. And I have seen so many new lawyers start out one degree off and they just continue that and the space between excellence, what we expect in Idaho, and their conduct just continues to enlarge. So please, especially as you start, use that moral compass, stay true, and use these as a baseline, and excel above those throughout your personal, <coughs> as well as your academic, and your professional career. And as such, I think this oath embodies all of those comments. So if you would please stand and raise your right hand. And if you cannot follow me, I believe it's up here. If you'd all raise your right hands, or if you're left-handed, left hand, I don't care. <laughs> Repeat after me. I am a student entering Concordia University of Law. I understand that I am joining a professional academic community. And I am embarking and I am on a professional career. On a professional career. The law school community and the legal profession. The law school community and the legal profession. Share the indispensable values. Share the indispensable values. Of integrity and character. Of integrity and character. I understand that my work and actions. I understand that my work and actions. While in, law school, While in law school, affect the whole fiber of the legal profession. Affect the whole fiber of the legal profession. I have read, I have read the, student the student code of conduct. The statement of academic integrity. The statement of academic integrity. And the civility statement. And the civility statement. I will conduct my academic. I will conduct my academic, professional and personal life, professional and personal life, in such a way as to respect these shared values. In such a way as to respect these shared values. Thank you. Congratulations. You're now in college. <laughs>